Okay, so I will solve this problem. It's guiding students. Um, it's easy. So the difficulty is easy. So uh, basically, you can read this, but basically, there is a bunch of students. The professor called Sam grades them from 0 to 100. If the grade is less than 40, it's, con it's considered as failure. So, but there's also two rules that the professor uses to uh, change us to the grades. The first one, if the difference between the grade and the next multiple of five is less than three, round the grade up to the next multiple of five. And the second rule is, if the value of grade is less than 38, no rounding occurs. And here they give us an example. If the grade is 84, the next multiple of 5 is uh, uh, is 85. 85 minus 84 is 1. It's less than 3, so the grade will be 85. But 29 is less than 38, so it won't get... Uh, it's, it's less, yeah, it's less than 38, so it won't get uh, rounded. Uh, but the first thing to, to start solving this, can you see... The first thing uh, to start solving this, to find how we can uh, calculate the next multiple of 5 starting from a specific number. So let me open the console and let's try it there. Uh, one second, like this. Okay, so uh, when you google that, how to find the next multiple of a number, of a specific number, um, they show you that you you divide the number over what you want to, to find the next multiple of 5 for example so over 5 and then multiply the result by 5 this is how you calculate the next number of 5 but uh, I will use JavaScript so when you divide for example 2 over 5 it will give you fractions uh, in Java or C++ you define these numbers as integers and the result will be 0 so what I will do, I will use math dot seating uh, of 2 over 5. This will give us 1. Ceiling will give us the next integer to any value. So this is good. So let's try it small. So let's, let's just test this uh, operation. So I want to find the next multiple of 5 uh, from 2. So math dot seating. 2 over 5 times 5, which give us 5, which is true. Uh, let's go to their example, which is 84, 85, correct. And, um, yeah, so even if you go scroll down and saw other, uh, saw other examples, they won't give you the example that uh, I think it's like, it's like, uh, uh, there is a small trick to it, so they ask you for the next multiple of 5. So what if I put here 85? This is a multiple of 5, right? If you divide it by 5, it will give you... It's divisible by 5, so it will give you 85, but I want the next uh, number. So to solve this, you just... The value, which will get passed, just plus 1 to it. So... 85 plus 1 this is the next multiple of 5 to any number just plus 1 then calculate the rest so okay this is fine I hope you can see that I think you can but yeah basically you just the number plus it by 1 divide it by 5 seal it in JavaScript if you divide them I think you need to divide them to define them as doubles in Java then you do sealing then divide them by 5. This is you f how you can find the multiple, the next multiple of any number. If it's 6, just change these to this one, this one by 6. 7, change these to anywhere. Uh, let me close this and continue. So this is basically it. Here they give you the constraints, the input format. Uh, I think I think in case of JavaScript, they will handle this uh, first argument, which is the number of grades for and they will just give us an array of uh, integers. So this is the input for our functions. So for our function, and here they give us, they give you an example. So, and here we should write our code. It's the grading student function. We should return 
they will give us an array of integers we should retain also an array of integers so the code is pretty much simple so since we know how to calculate the next multiple five not just only if it's uh, required here so i will return the same array but i will map it if you don't know the map function um just to convert it's just to retain a new array which each element are mapped to another one um based on some conditions i will write here it's really good function so this will accept a callback the first parameter i will call grade which is the integer for each step for each iteration um, what i will do sorry first thing i will calculate the rounded uh, value so round equal math dot ceiling to the grade plus one over five then multiply oh, multiply the result by five and then return uh, so if the round minus a grade is less than three and the grade is bigger than eight 38 return the rounded value else return the grid so why bigger than 38 because uh, let me scroll up so here they say uh, if the value grid is less than 38 don't do anything so what I'm saying here uh, let me zoom is this good yeah so I'm saying that if the first condition, which is the rounded value minus the original value, is this than three, I want to return the round, but except for typing two if statements, I'm combining this with one condition and writing an inline if statement to make it uh, shorter. So yeah, if that is true, return round else return again. So let's submit. I already solved that. So. should give us all past okay cool